G'day guys, Andy Thomas from Wolf on the Run. Um, how are we all doing? Um, I'm good, still at home, no work, but you know, lockdown is lockdown. Um, first off, I'd like to thank Cedar Summit for sponsoring this video. Um, go to their webpage, check out all their gear. This is all about their X series, um, it's camping kitchen gear. Um, we'll talk about the things that they've sent me and then I'll also send you the links, give you the links below of these items and more of that items in that range. But yeah, this is what they sent me. Alright guys, so the goodies that they sent me is, as I say, the X series. It's won awards for its design. Um, it's flexibility, it's capability, it's packing size. This is the X cup. You can get X mug. X containers, there's all different types. I will put a link, as I say, down below, which will take you onto their website um, with all the X series. I'll put separate links, individual ones, for these items that they've sent me, um, so you can also look at those. This cup, we, we'll try them out in a minute, I'll make coffee, but it weighs 45 grams, it raises to 70 millimeters high, and it's 95 mil wide, and it holds 250 milliliters, which as I say, it's the cup, not the mug. The mug holds more. Um, 250 mils is just short of a, a can, a can of soda, can of um, drink, basically, or a beer, whatever you want to choose. But it's a cup. It's, um, it costs around about 12 to $15, depending on where you buy it. Um, but, yeah, we'll try that shortly. The other item is the X-Plate. Um, again, part of the X series. Um, this, as it says plate, but I reckon because it extends as well, I reckon you could use it as a bowl. Um, they do do a bowl in it, a separate bowl, but I reckon you could use this as a bowl, i.e., like for a chili or a curry or something, or even a stew, soup or something. It's not going to spill over the sides. It, um, it weighs 165 grams, it raises to 35 millimeters high, and it's 200 mil round. And the plate is um, between 20 and 25 bucks. The base is a food grade nylon uh, and it can be used as a cutting board, which we will try, see how it works. All right, so the next item they've sent is the X Pot Kettle. Uh, now, the kettle says that it's 1.3 litres and it says you can boil 0.8 of a litre on there. On their website it does say you can boil one litre, but obviously that 0.3 must be for expansion. Basically don't fill it right to the top. Um, so it's got like a glass lid, sorry, no glass lid, a plastic lid. Um, it collapses to 35 mil in total, and it weighs 186 grams. The bottom is a hard, uh, a lightweight, hard anodized aluminium base, and it tells you basically on the bottom there of how it can be used. Don't put it on open flame. You could put it on an open flame, but as long as the flame is around the aluminium, not onto there. On the lid, it does say do not expose uh, walls to flame. So basically, because that is a um, food grade silicon. It will burn, but um, there you go. It, it opens up. Look, as I say, it's a decent little thing, um, and it's nice and light. It um, it costs around about fifty to fifty-five bucks, uh, but you can put food in there as well. You can put like water, your pasta, you know, you, you can do your dried meals, put them in there. Whatever you've freeze dried or anything, you could put them in there. And again, you haven't got to carry a hard pot. It's all BPA free. Um, which is good, so we'll check that out, we'll boil some water in that and uh, make ourselves a coffee and we'll put it in that mug, try the mug. The other part of the cooking set, the dinner set they've sent, is an Alpha Light three piece um, knife, fork and spoon set. It is odd anodized aluminium, uh, sorry, odd anodized aircraft grade aluminium and um, it weighs 22 grams and he boasts that it's the lightest set on the market and I think the cardboard probably weighs heavier than the uh, the actual thing itself let's see if I can get one out wow wow 
I, I, for, apart from it touching my fingers, I can't actually feel any weight in it at all. So that is amazing. The spoon, the spoon's a good size spoon. It's not like a really small one. I've got the long reach one of the Sea to Summit as well, and that's tiny on the end, which for goes inside the bags. But that's a good size spoon. And um, the fork, yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid. We're going to, um, again, I'm going to use these. We're going to try them out. I'm going to cook a bit of breakfast, um, and then we'll try these out with the plate. It also comes with a little carabiner that's on the bottom there. So the holes on the end of the utensils, you can keep them all together so you don't basically lose them, which is a great little idea. So I'll take that off and put them together. Here you go guys, I can't believe how light they are. Um, they really are, really are light, which is good. And like you say, with that carabiner, you're never gonna lose them. All right guys, so I've got out my two little stoves. Um, these one, look at this, covered in grease still. <laughs> um, these ones I use if I go in the, in the ute or if I go, you know, bush camping with a bigger vehicle. Obviously it's not my stove that I carry on the bikes. These two are just for other camping stuff, but I'm gonna use these. Um, the gas bottles are in them, they're quite low, so they might go out halfway through and I'll just change them over, but I'm gonna use up the gas that's left in them. All right, so I've got you on the overhead. Whew. There we go. Kettle, first off, I'll take that bit of plastic or the paper from out the inside of the kettle. All right, I've got my water bottle. I'm not gonna stick loads in there. This is 750 mils. This also is, um, a 360, which is part of Cedar Summit as well. That's my three-quarter bottle. So I'll put that in there. That should be enough to make me a coffee out of that mug. So let's light the gas. I'm turning that down quite low because of that reason that I spoke about regarding the plastic around the outside. Do not let the flames come up the outside of it. There you go, as I was saying like about the, um, the flames around the outside, if I turn that up you can see that the flames start coming around the outside which is a no-no. Um, obviously you can boil, as you know, you can boil water in a plastic bottle hanging over naked flame and as soon as the water boils it will boil the water before it actually melts the bottle but I don't want to take any chances. So I'm turning the gas down a little bit, just so it's not round the outside of it. So I think, yeah, with that you have got to be pretty aware. So I've got my fry pan out. I think I've used this once actually on camping trips. That's about all. Just get the dust out of it. Maybe twice, three times, I'm not sure. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I've not used it a lot. I tend to do just one pot meals. But today, we are gonna use it. Some olive oil in there. I feel like bloody Jamie Oliver. While the oil's eating up, I'm going to put my bacon in. I've got a couple of pieces of bacon, I've got a couple of mushrooms, I've got an egg. So I'm going to take advantage of what it says with this um, nylon base. And I'm going to use their knife. Use the Sea to Summit Ultralight Knife. Leave that on there and cut up the mushroom. Let's turn that down. Burning my olive oil away.
and see if it actually, you know, how it fares up as a chopping board. So that's perfect. So it's not even, it's not even marking. That's great. So the chopping board that I carry, the little one, I can now get rid of by using this. Chop up the mushrooms, chuck them in. We'll just flick that bacon. Water's boiling. Oh, perfect. How about that, guys? That's not so long at all. So I'll set myself up for a cup of coffee. I'll just turn that off. Leave a bit of a stir up. Let's get this cup out. You see it? There you go, so that's opened up. It's not a bad little side. The thing that I want to test is, because I have black coffee, whether I'm going to taste the actual the, the silicon or it's going to be too hot to handle. But that's got a nice little plastic rim. So, you know, should be okay. So I'm going to make um, a French press coffee, nice pressed coffee, and we'll try it. Oh, smell coffee. Alright guys, let's uh, pour that into there. Looking good, I'm going to stick my egg in. So guys, I've made myself a nice coffee. And as I say, this, that's warm, not hot, not burning me. And it's a good little cup actually, it's a great size cup. Um, that holding that there on that rim, I cannot feel any heat whatsoever. So yeah, let's see what it tastes like. It just tastes coffee. I can't taste any rubber, I can't taste any silicon. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty good. This is cooking well. I might just flip my head, my egg over. Broke my egg to pieces, but you know what it's like guys with these pans, um, they're not the best for eggs. Anything else you're good, but like you say, normally you get an egg and it's stuck to it. Um, but it is what it is, it's still edible. You get out camping. Um, I'm not gonna, I'll just wipe that off, get the mushrooms off it. I'm not gonna raise that up, as I say, because I don't think I need to. Um, 
as I say, it's ideal if you do need to, where you've got a stew or a soup or something, or you, you know, you've boiled something up, fish and potatoes, vegetables, whatever, you caught a fish, you boiled it up, and then just to stop it running off the edge. How good's that? How good's that? So it saves, you know, a lot of packing space, silly as it seems, just by folding that down. Brilliant. Alright, so I'm classing that as done. Now I could put this on a sandwich, put that on there, but I'm going to just sit it on there and I'm going to actually eat it as is. Might get a little bit of HP pommy sauce. Alright, ready. 99% of the time when you're out there doing your bit of camping, that's that's your table. You know what I mean? You are, you are sitting there with it on your lap. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna tuck in, try this knife and fork. See how it goes. How light are these? As I say guys, that, that base is great, it's not even barking it. I wish you had smelly vision now guys. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to eat this, I'm going to have a look after I've sawed this plate to pieces, use this knife and fork. And, um, See how it's fared up, just obviously, first time, brand new. See what marks we've got on the plate. See, the knife seems to be cutting pretty well. It is a fair good razor edge on it. We'll look closely at that once I've um, finished this, because I don't want to leave it now. <laughs> it's... Uh, yeah. Anyway, let me get on with it. It's surprising. Two hundred and fifty mils of coffee is probably the same amount as if you buy a small coffee from the cafe I reckon and I'm happy with that, I've had like four to five sips out of that and I'm still halfway down it so that's a fair size cup, if you wanted to as I say you go up to the mug um, the cup was twelve to fifteen dollars and I think the mug um, is about fifteen to eighteen dollars depending on where you buy it from but um, yeah pretty good as I say, all I can taste is the coffee. I can't taste nothing of the silicon. Um, can't taste the plastic you taste. Some of these cups, the travel cups that you buy, especially when you make a, a black coffee in them, all you can taste is the plastic. Whereas this one, you can't. And you know what, if you drop it, you're not gonna break it, are you? It's not tin, it's not burning your hand. All right, with my tin one, my tin mug, if I'm going to open fire, I can just drop it in the fire. But to carry my tin mug and this, it's no dramas. So I reckon, which I'll have a look in a minute, that this may sit in the bottom of my tin cup. Um, and then, like, you can take both. You've got options. If you've got an open fire, you know, uh, if you've got an open fire that um, you want to drop your tin cup in, if you've got no stoves, then you can boil just some water up or your billy. But... Anyway, I'll quickly wash these up and we'll have a look, see if there's any stains or wear, scratches, mark on it. As I say, I know it's only the first time of use, but we'll have a look. Alright guys, so I've just swilled them up. 
and as you can see in there it's you know I, I know don't get me wrong it's one cup of coffee but if you put the white one cup of coffee into a ceramic mug straight away white ceramic you've got a coffee stain because it's black it's a dye um, but no no marks in there I know again one cup not going to make a lot of difference there you go just fold that up and I did say about fitting into my mug but it does that way you know I don't want to wedge it in the bottom so I'll never get the bugger out again it's exactly the same size top as my cup but you know it's a bit I mean it's 10 mil 10 mil or 12 mil that's it so if you want to take the two you know you could probably squash that and put it inside you know it's yeah practicality wise perfect perfect knife and fork again as I say really really light uh, it's not a bad size fork head ideal the cutting edge on the knife as you can see I hope it's um, not massive but it is enough and it worked pretty well regarding the plate it's not scarred at all from cutting cut slicing the mushrooms obviously the more use the more wear you're going to get the, the lines in it but you know what it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's a nice solid unit and I love the thought you know that that pops up it's a bowl as well great little thing great little thing the kettle great idea collapsible the only thing I say I was aware of is worrying about that edge but especially with that recommendation on the soil on the top there about do not expose to you know you can see again look the flames coming around the outside of it tells you not to so you have got to make sure that's obviously on that stove not on an open fire um, your hiking stove unless you've got one of the big burner hiking stoves the mini stoves um, I can't see it being a drama mine's just a little um, 360 um, Cedar Summit stove and it's probably as big as that so I've got no dramas whatsoever and you know what I'll probably get rid of my billy can that I take and I'll cook my food in this as well um, just because again you know 35 mil compared to 125 150 mil of a tube I know you can put your stove in there and stuff and all that but there you go so the handles fold down it comes with wherever I've lost it comes with its own little elastic band again see the summit written on it love it it just goes on there holds it all flat Put your cup on the top if you want yeah so there you go guys fantastic absolutely I'm well impressed with that and again thank you again to see the summit for um, sending those through to me um, really appreciate it this video was sponsored by Cedar Summit. They supplied those items. They gifted them to me and said, see what you think. And I thought I'd share it with you guys on a video. And, and I think they're great. I've got a lot of Cedar Summit gear. And um, again, they have not, um, not disappointed. Um, as I say, guys, I'll put all the links to those items that I've had through Cedar Summit in the links below. And click on them, check them out. Um, I know Snow is Outdoors uh, here in Australia, they have some great discounts on at the moment. Um, I'm not sure at the moment if it's set up, but um, if, you, um, if they ask for a promotion code, type Wolf on the Run in one, one long word and you might get some discounts. I'm not 100% sure yet, I've asked them, um, but you know what, it's worth trying. So there you go guys, the X-Series Cedar Summit Camp Kitchen. Fantastic. Thanks for watching.